Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, Microsoft also made a Canary Channel build available for the Canary Channel insiders, build 26010. So just a quick look as to what Microsoft calls hot off the presses. Now, first of all, um, there's a new widgets board settings panel. And this uh, is a feature that has made its way into the beta uh, the dev and now the canary channel and a feature that i think a lot of users are going to be very happy about as i've mentioned previously is this show or hide feeds where you can choose which feeds appear on your board so as an example you'll be able to turn off the news feed and just have your widgets which i think is a nice move and this is a feature i certainly hope rolls out to an up and coming stable version in the future um, those new widget board settings and over and above that um, the new settings also allows you to select the account you want to use for your Microsoft start powered widgets and feeds which means um, you are no longer limited to using Microsoft says the account you used to sign into Windows so basically uh, you can do that where you can do that with personalize your account here near the top of that new settings panel and turning off the news feed I think um, has been a long time coming and a lot of users will be happy to hear that now something else just to mention quickly um, when it comes to changes and improvements the tips app which is a legacy app has been deprecated and this is just microsoft's um, move to debloating windows a lot further which i'm always happy to uh, talk about debloating windows and then the next is a feature for Copilot for the Windows 11 desktop where they are trying out the ability to undock Copilot in Windows um, with this latest uh, Canary Channel build. So basically what you do, as you can see from the screenshot provided, is you just click the new icon to unpin the Copilot panel at the top right uh, in the header. And then while undocked, Copilot can appear above or below other apps in Windows while maintaining its fixed position on the desktop, which allows uh, you to access Copilot while minimizing disruption to your other user activities, uh, says Microsoft. And you'll also be able to resize the Copilot window. And just to demonstrate for this, we'll just head over quickly to Edge Canary just to demonstrate the resizing. So if we head to Copilot, which is a very similar feature, yeah, you can see um, once that's docked, you can resize. So you'll have the ability for the Windows 11 Copilot for desktop to be able to resize that in the future, which I think it will be a nice move. Just being able to resize that according to your own personal choice and preference. And then moving on to another uh, change and improvement is there's now a scrollable view of quick settings where they're beginning to roll out this again with some slight refinements so basically this is rolled out in a previous build 25967 and with this and last week's uh, build they're beginning to roll this out um, with some refinements where this new scrolling view of quick actions allows you to rearrange the set of quick settings and provides better usability says Microsoft and discoverability for the user and I think this is a nice move um, you don't have to turn off some of these quick settings you can just scroll through them which gives you one or two pages which I think is a nice move and then moving on to another one um, if we just head over currently to the task manager uh, in the stable version of Windows 11 23H2 and we head to the settings page uh, there is no micro material effect for the settings page and um, with this latest uh, Canary Channel build, the Task Manager settings page now has micro material, which is an opaque dynamic effect, which picks up the desktop background, as many of you may know. And then um, something else, if we just head to the settings uh, in the stable version, because this feature has already rolled out uh, in the stable version. If we head to the system page in settings, you will see uh, that we get optional features. And these optional features were previously found under settings and apps and has now been moved to its own page under settings system. And uh, I actually posted a video on this and I'll leave that down below if you would be interested. And then we get some fixes for known issues. Um, obviously, that's a good thing where Microsoft has fixed a good couple of known issues. But once again, because the Canary channel is very early days and a very early preview version, we get a whole lot of new known issues, which is quite normal. It is expected in this very unstable build to have known issues. And then we get a notepad update, which I posted a whole video on, um, which brings um, new editing features and a new character count. And I'll leave that video down below because I'm, as mentioned, 
that uh, will provide you with a little bit more info. And then we also get a Microsoft Store update where um, the Microsoft Store now lets you install as you browse. So for this one, we're just going to head to a GIF provided from those release notes where you can now install directly while browsing. And as you can see, you simply browse through the store's home apps or games pages and hover over a product and click the install button. And there are now fewer clicks, Microsoft says, to dive into new apps. And I actually think that's a nice move uh, in the right direction. So that's more or less what's new. Uh, in last week's uh, latest Canary Channel build, um, 26010, and that's what's hot off the presses, and that rolled out late last week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.